everybody, welcome back to the kitchen and today I have an installment of Pick Your Produce just in time for fall and winter. Today we're going to focus on the spaghetti squash and I'm going to share with you how you can make it two ways, in the oven or in the microwave. And I'm also going to give you some fun facts what the spaghetti squash is all about. Let's go see how this all comes together. Because fall is here and uh, spaghetti squash, while it is available all year long, it is typically considered a winter squash. It's been around like forever. It's very easy to cook. You might not know how to do it. and Maybe you've been intimidated because you know cutting this thing in half can be kind of dangerous. So unless you have some good knife skills, you might avoid doing it. Um, but I'm gonna show you a little bit easier way to handle this and it involves a good sharp knife, cutting board, and a piece of non-slip, right? You can get this, this is just like shelf liner, but it's like non-slip shelf liner. I know a lot of people wanna cut it this way, but that's not how we're gonna do it. We're going to do it the opposite way. So you want to start by gently getting your knife in there and then you have a nice base. So make sure you have a good knife and then it is gonna take some muscle, all right? And if you just kind of wiggle it all the way around, these are very, very hard to cut. And that's why I really prefer cooking them in the microwave because you don't have to cut them in half. You can just do this. So now we've got this cut in half. Now you're gonna wanna grab a spoon. Just go ahead and take a sharp edged spoon. If you have an ice cream spade, it makes the job a lot easier. You just wanna make sure you get all of this kind of angel hair looking stuff out of the center of your squash. Okay, we got both halves of our spaghetti squash cleaned out. Now, we're not going to roast these like this. We're going to flip them upside down. But first, we're gonna brush them with a little olive oil on the inside and on the outside. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil in here. You can use whatever oil you like. It doesn't matter, just a little bit of oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna brush this around and make sure you get the edges here that are gonna go face down, well, cut side down on the pan, just like that. These are now gonna go into a 400 degree oven for 30 to 45 minutes. And we'll show you what these look like when they come out. Now I'm gonna show you how to make your spaghetti squash in the microwave. So what you wanna do, we're gonna roast this in the microwave hole, and we're gonna take a sharp knife and we're basically gonna stab this spaghetti squash several times. I would say at least four, like one on each side. Okay, so I just have a pie plate here because it's round and it's flat and it's easy to put the spaghetti squash in. If you have a little oval baking dish or anything really that will hold your spaghetti squash, they come in all sizes, um, just make sure it fits. We're gonna pop this in the microwave. We're going to run it on high for 10 to 15 minutes or until it's soft enough to cut in half. That's how easy it is to cook a spaghetti squash in the microwave. I'm gonna go pop mine in. My microwave is 1200 watts and it might take 10 minutes, it might take 12, but I'll make sure I let you know how long it took mine. If your microwave is not that powerful, it may take longer. You just need to keep t checking it. So I'll be back when these both are done and I'll show you the final results. Our spaghetti squash has finished cooking in the microwave. It was in there for approximately 12 minutes. So what I wanna do, I just wanna put it on a cutting board and it's gonna be warm. So be careful if you don't have asbestos fingers like I do, just be careful. You wanna cut it in half and there's your spaghetti squash all cooked and ready to go. Now the only thing that you're gonna wanna do here because we cooked this one whole is you're gonna wanna remove center with all the seeds in it. They're called spaghetti squash because when you take a fork to them, they look like spaghetti noodles. So if you do this, I see. and it comes from along the side, and you have a lovely alternative to high carb pasta. So let me go ahead and get the one we made in the oven. That one's ready also. All right. our the spaghetti squash that we cooked in the oven is finished as well. You can see how nice it looks. A little caramelized on the bottom there. Looks great. So um, I highly recommend using a, uh, a hot pad or a pot holder. Um, they say when you cut it in half like this, 
that you get longer strands of uh, spaghetti, in air quotes, we will just say. Um, and that may be true, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and scrape it onto this. Looks like spaghetti, right? Mm -hmm. Now all we need is some of uh, Rick's Irish spaghetti sauce and we'll be good to go. And I think it's true that you do get longer strands okay. when you cut it in half the short way as opposed to the long way. So there's just something to think about. If you've never eaten spaghetti squash or have never been brave enough to eat spaghetti squash, I love it. I like it just baked and then with butter, salt, and pepper. It's really great. You can turn this into um, like uh, pasta con pepe con parma where you put butter and black pepper and uh, parmesan cheese on it. It's delicious. You can... Um, really substitute sp the, the spaghetti for spaghetti squash in any of your recipes, like for spaghetti pie or any kind of noodle bake. And I think that you're gonna really be surprised at how delicious it is. So. Cincinnati squash. Cincinnati squash, there you go. You put chili on top of it, right? There's two ways that you can make delicious spaghetti squash really easy. You make it in the oven, it takes about 45 minutes. You can make it in the microwave, it takes about 12, depending on your microwave. But either way, you get the job done. And I have some fun facts about spaghetti squash. I wanted to share with you just real quick. Now, um, spaghetti squash botanically is classified as a cucurbit pepo. It is, it is a unique winter variety that is a member of the cucurbaceae family, along with pumpkin, zucchini, and gourds. Also known as vegetable spaghetti, noodle squash, mandarin squash, and vegetable marrow, spaghetti squash is favored for its unusual noodle-like texture, which is attributed to the presence of a recessive gene. First recorded in China in the early 1800s, spaghetti squash has become popular around the world as a healthy low-carb alternative. It is used in a variety of culinary applications and has a mild taste that will absorb any accompanying flavors. Spaghetti squash is, um, it contains vitamin A, folate, folic acid, beta carotene, and potassium, and is also an excellent source of fiber. Um, it is best suited for cooked applications such as roasting, steaming, and baking. The rind is very hard and tough, so the squash can be cooked whole or sliced in half for faster cooking. And once cooked, the flesh can be shredded with a fork to make the stringy noodles that the squash is known for. Um, I just thought that this information was interesting and I thought that you might enjoy learning about it. Spaghetti squash is the, was first discovered in China and was a popular vegetable in the countryside of northern Manchuria, China in the 1920s. Images of the Manchuria area have been found that depict a woman with her child cutting spirals of spaghetti squash using a rod on a sawhorse. This flesh was commonly collected from the squashes in this fashion and then hung up and left to dry out in the sunshine. The dried squash provided a nutritious food source that would last during the winter months. In 1934, the Sakata Seed Company in Japan developed an improved variety and was the first to market the spaghetti squash under the Soman Nankin commercial, also known as the Burpee Company. Brought the squash to North America in 1936 and sold seeds in their catalog under the name Vegetable Spaghetti. The squash was not immediately popular and it took several years to gain notoriety especially during World War II when it was used as a substitute for pasta at a time when processed foods were harder to obtain. Today, spaghetti squash is widely available at farmers markets, grocers, and through online seed catalogs in North America, Central America, South Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia. So there's all the information you ever wanted to know but were afraid to ask about spaghetti squash. I hope that you are no longer afraid or curious about spaghetti squash. So I hope that you give this a try sometime soon. And if you liked today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my kitchen and you wandered over here to learn about spaghetti squash, 
welcome. It's always a pleasure to have new people join me in the kitchen. And be sure and hit that subscribe button. If you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you enjoyed learning about spaghetti squash and I hope you give it a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you.